Hey guys, back again, new video for you here. So, last video we had a bit of a discussion about my first signed pop, Mickey Mouse, while I was at Disneyland Paris, and I mentioned in there that I was looking at a couple of things on eBay. eBay? Facebook. Um, so I found these on Facebook, there's two pops that I picked up, uh, I went on a bit of a bit of an adventure one evening after work this week, I went from one side of Bristol to the other, picked up one pop, then from Bristol to Bath, picked up another, and then came home. So, quite a quite an escapade. Took about two hours, all in all. So we've gone from my first signed pop, and this is my first Chase pop. Um, obviously, we got the Chase Hulk, the glow-in-the-dark one, from the Pez line. Um, but it's not a pop, officially. So this is my first Chase. Bob Ross. Of course it was Bob Ross. The only other chase I would have had is a Power Ranger. Don't think they do any Power Ranger chases. Here's Bob. Obviously we've got... Oh, a shaky camera. But we've got Bob. Bob. Deadpool is Bob. Bob. And Bob. Um, obviously the common version comes with the raccoon. Very cleverly named raccoon. This one we've got Hoot the Owl. Um... The only other one that we need is a Target exclusive, which had a squirrel called Peapod. Which is really cool, really like, really expensive. Such is life. Um, other than that, there are two other Bobs other than that. We've got Peapod, you've got Flocked, and you've got the DIY Bob Ross as well. Um, so I think a collection of five thus far is quite good going. When we've got seven, eight Power Rangers already. And what we count in Marvel, we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight with, with Groots as well. But yeah, Bob Ross, we'll pop him out of the box. We'll give you a little comparison shot as well, side by side. Give us a second. And here he is. So, Bob Ross. Hoot. Really like these little pops. They're really quite cute. I mean, the raccoon is awesome. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, at Nathan's Pop Hunt, we put him in a couple of pictures with the Groot, so it kind of looks like Baby Groot, Baby Rocket, because I'm that kind of guy. Um, but yeah, Bob Ross himself, pretty much standard, pretty much the the, the same as this one. Um, the only di big difference, really, of course, is the painting. Um, other than that, they're pretty much, if I can turn it the right way, pretty much the same. Um, it seems to just be an identical mould. They just put a different sticker on the, the painting. Sorry, they've painted a different painting. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, I actually prefer the Chase painting. There's a few Chases that I'm not a big fan of. Um, Kind of the, some of the Stranger Things ones, like the Demogorgon where it's closed. It just looks a bit weird. Um, but yeah, this is this is Bob Ross. He's got a different painting, so that kind of makes sense. Really, really like that. So I've got to figure out where he's going to go. Because we are running out of space. And I don't really want to push too far away from what I've got here. Um, I might have to... I've got DVDs and stuff on this shelf. So I might have to push them across maybe move the predator over a bit we'll figure that out you'll see in a video later in time um but other than that we went from bristol picking up bob ross to bath and in bath for five pounds i picked up 1966 batman so again i've been looking for this one for a while um really really wanted this i'd like kind of all four but they're quite difficult to get hold of, especially Robin for some reason. Robin seems to be really difficult or really expensive when you do find him. I think he's knocking around 50, 50, uh, 30 quid at the moment. Whereas this one, he's kind of kicking around 12, 15. But it's a really cool pop. It's quite different. We'll get him out of the box again um, and compare him to the Surf's Up. But he's quite different to, to that one, but he's really cool. The box again, really good condition. Um, girl I bought it from said that she hadn't taken him out of the box at all. 
So let's change that. So there he is. So there's a little bit of a paint defect next to the eye there. It's a little bit odd. Um, but other than that, he's pretty much spotless. Really, really nice little pop. Really happy with it. If we bring in Surf's Up though, as you can tell, there's quite a difference. So the head is a completely different shape. Whether it's just because it's a newer pop and it's a newer mould, uh, I'm not sure. But the colours are different as well. Um, obviously the utility belt kind of matches in with the Bermuda shorts on this one. Whereas he's obviously just got his normal pants on there. Um, and it's a slightly lighter blue. So I feel this is more Super Friends Batman than 66 Batman. Which is a bit of a shame, because obviously it's supposed to be 66 Batman. But I still really like this one. I still really like this one as well. Other than that, I mean, I picked this up for £5, so that's an absolute steal. Really, really happy with that. Um, so yeah, two new pops. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos, subscribing. Um, even though I think there's only three subscribers at the moment, there might be some more by the time this comes out. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thanks very much. Keep on collecting what you love. Thanks for watching. See you soon.